today we are going to see new lesson lesson number 10 equations in this lesson we are going to see different types of equations and we are going to solve these all the equations now in mathematics what is mean by equation that we will see in mathematics the sign of equality hence is equal to sign shows that the numbers on both its side means this is the sign of equality both the numbers this is the first number and this is the second number on its both sides of equal sign are equal are equal y it is called as equal 5 multiplied by 3 answer is coming 15 is equal to 15 so this left side and right side of equal sign the numbers which are having they are equal or they may be the result of different operations on the left and right hand sides so these are the different operations here multiplication operation here subtraction operation when we will do this multiplication operation we are getting 15 over here we are getting here subtraction operation when we do 17 minus 2 we are getting 15 over here so we are getting the both the numbers are equal on the left hand side of equal sign whatever the number we are getting it is exactly equal to the number on the right hand side of this equal sign that's why this equal sign is given in between that two numbers in between that two numbers for these two sums or it is also called as an expression so we can say that such an expression of equality is called as an equation it means when we multiply, when we do doing the subtraction, when we doing the addition, when we doing the division, at that time the value is not changing on the left hand side and right hand side. You can see 10 plus 5 is 15 is equal to 15. Left hand side value is 15, right hand side value is also 15. That's why this is called as an equation. Now this you can see 45 divided by 3 is 15, 3 ones are 3, 3 ones are 3, 1 remain, 3 fives are 15, 1 5 it will become, so 15 when we divide this 45 by 3 we get the 15, so 15 is equal to 15, so this is also called as an equation. Now you can see 17 minus 2 is 15 and 5 multiplied by 3 is also 15. So this is also called as an equation. 5 multiplied by 3 when we place the uh, place change the place of these expressions, then also values remain constant on the left hand side and right hand side what the answer will be getting that remain the constant so 5 multiplied by 3 is 15 and 17 minus 2 also 15 so it is called as an equation now here 5 multiplied by 3 is 15 5 3 is a 15 is equal to 15 so 15 is equal to 15 so that's why it is also called as an equation so this all these types are called as an equation today we are going to see next topic of the equation lesson in that we are going to see 
this one is dividing the outside so when you writing this one downside then also we getting the one x is equal to three upon one means three so it means one x means we can write only x x is equal to three value of x now we got is three whatever we return over here 5 multiplied by 3 is equal to 15 so value of x we don't know suppose we don't know the value second value there we take in the x as a variable so we divide in both the sides of this equation by this 5 why by 5 because we want x on the left hand side or any side only x we want without any value at multiplying or dividing or subtracting or adding we want x only that's why we are uh, dividing this left hand side by 5 that's why we have to divide the right hand side also to balance the equation to balance the equation so when we divide this we are getting the x on left hand side and we are getting the 3 on right hand side so we are getting the value of x is equal to 3 when we put value of x is equal to 3 over here then we are getting the answer 15 that is correct one so when we write in 15 over here and 15 over here when we have to divide by 5 over by 3 when we divide by 3 on the both hand sides both the sides then we get the answer 5 5 so you can see this equation is balanced one so in the same way we are dividing both the sides by 5 this 5 will divide the both the sides so we get in the answer x equal to 3 in this way we can find value of x which is called as solution of second number then we can take the x over there and we can find out the value for the x so whatever the value for the x means for the this letter that letter is called as a variable so this value is called as an solution of an equation so we can see that a value for a letter has to be found that we make the equation balanced that value is called as a solution of an equation means whatever value we find out when we put over here in this equation then we are getting the same values on the both hand side this 5 multiplied by 3 is 15 and here also 15 so 15 is equal to 15 we will get so that is called as an balanced equation both the values are same it means it is called as a balanced equation why we getting because we getting the value 3 for this variable x that's why this 3 is called as an solution of an equation